Please tell me you aren't going to run the Red Mile. You'll be talking to the underside of my boat if you keep trying. What a Red Mile blood sport thing. This used to be a decent place. Now... Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. Wonderful. Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. Yeah, well, you're here now, so we'll just have to make it work. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. Follow me. Yes, what? <clears throat> I'm looking for work. You are. Kick oh, back with a drink be from alone. the bar and enjoy yourself. Yeah, well, things changed. Is that Take Donovan seat. Reese? Damn. Guy's a legend. He's run the mile more than anyone alive. So you're working with Autumn, huh? Who are you? Is that so? The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Hmm, seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco? Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation, and he started moving in on my territory. That's exactly what this meeting is about. Look, the bad news is, Marco's incredibly paranoid. He never stays in one place for long. The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not going to tell us yet, because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. My thinking exactly. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. All right. It's your call to make. Planned this out real good, didn't you, Jade? The Freestyle Rangers do the dirty work, and you get rid of a rival. Don't forget the part where the Freestyle Rangers get to bring down a big-time criminal while your deputy friend here gets intel on the first. Seems to me like we're all getting something we want, thanks to my good planning. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die, will you? You're Some really going to take on the mile, hotel. huh? Excuse me. If you fancy yourself a... That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him, exactly? It's no small favor that you're asking. But yes, 
I can arrange such a meeting. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to provide it, I'll give you Marco. Are you prepared to run the Red Mile? Good. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets for my patrons who will place wagers on your survival. That's what every runner says. I wish I shared your optimism. The mile's very real. Now that we're clear on what's expected of you, are you ready to begin? Good. Come with me and I'll introduce you. Okay, hello. All the fun of Neon, plus betting on whether people are gonna survive. Yep, these people are total winners. Your attention, please! Valued patrons and honored guests! Great soul! The hour of big. Yes! A runner has come to test the Red Mile! Now is your chance to get a good look at our fearless challenger as you contemplate your wages. Do you see the fire in those eyes? What is that if not steely determination? I think you'll agree that we're in for quite a show! The rules are simple. Go through the door and take the elevator down to where the mile begins. Activate the beacon at the base of the tower to see in the distance. Once you've done so, return here alive and your run will be complete. Go now, runner, and see if you can survive the mile! Open up. Oh, well, that looks painful.
Congratulations, runner. You have succeeded where most have failed. In fact, you seem none the worse for wear. Indeed you have, and in most impressive fashion. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. Glasses and all. Please. I took this job so I could be. You're back. Are you okay? Of course, most of them I see. Really? Either the Red Mile's reputation is exaggerated, or you're just that good. Anyway, I'm relieved you made it through okay. Why? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad, because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I... I owe you an apology. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm sorry about that. You're right. Let's focus on the job. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the Rock and let the Marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, Deputy. That's an order. You always were the soft one, little sister. Oh, go to hell. Or at least make yourself useful and get us some drinks. Meanwhile, here's some free advice. Next time you get drunk, try picking a fight with someone who isn't carrying a firearm. It's a pleasure to have you. Time for me to keep my promise, Runner? You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. Good. Travel safely, runner. Should you ever crave the challenge of the mile again, it will be here, waiting for you. Touchdown imminent. You the 
runner. Boss is in the back. Marco's done well for himself. One might say too well. I mean, I would say that at least. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. Ah, I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, the degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent a deputy instead of a full-fledged Ranger. This deputy might just surprise you, Marco. And who might you be? The name's Sam Coe. A name well known across the Free Star Collective. It's an honor to welcome a descendant of the great Solomon Co. Yeah, well, that name probably means more to you than it does to me. Your deputy friend here could have a bright future. Assuming we all keep our heads. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, deputy. You are on my ship. Outnumbered by my guards, who killed you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction. In exchange, I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. Good. Then we are agreed. I won't pretend that I agree with this, but it's your call. It'd be a shame if an encrypted slate like this one somehow got into the wrong hands. Wouldn't it? Now, before you complain, remember that all I promised was to point you in the right direction. You're free to stay as long as you like. It's not often I get to entertain such a distinguished guest. It's a rare thing to know that right here and now might just be the best days of your life. Feel free to tow the ship.
Ah, the dulcet tones of classical piano. It really puts the soul at ease. Beat the Red Mile, huh? The first don't mess around. Got my eyes on you. Here to join the first best work company there is. This music is gonna put me to sleep. Mm. Nice shit, huh? Better behave while you're in here. You're lucky to get a meeting with Marco. Hey, deputy. New deputy, huh? Hey there, deputy. Hey there, deputy. Way I hear it, you've been keeping busy jumping from one side of the Freestar Collective to the other. How do you like the job so far? That's good to hear. So, what brings you by? Well, well, what do we have here? Well, this is new. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. I'll see what I can do. If you can get me another one of these, it'll give me more context for the encryption and should speed things up. In the meantime, you be careful out there, deputy. 
From what I've heard, these mercs mean business. 